All right, YouTube. So today we have a Mazda SUV that we're going to go ahead and we're going to be doing inside, outside. We're going to put the one year paint sealant on it with the DA. It's going to look great. It's in really good shape. So be pretty straightforward. Most of the vehicles in the shade, so that's going to be nice. We're going to go ahead and get started with the wash right away, just to avoid the sun. Kind of waiting on a vehicle that's really bad, so we could do like one of those disaster details, so we can show you how we go ahead and take care of those. They're a lot different than these cars are a lot cleaner. This one has some bugs on it. Looks like they haven't been taken off in a while, so those really stick to the paint. But we're gonna go ahead and take care of it for her. All right, let's look at the inside. Yeah, it needs a really good vacuum very dusty in here but it's not too bad so this is a senior citizen they have uh, respiratory issues and their main concern is to get rid of all this dust here it's there it's all over the dash around the vents So yeah, we're gonna have to blow all this dust out of here. That way they're able to breathe better. Yeah, the back's in really good shape. She wasn't feeling that well today, so we let her know, don't worry about moving anything. We're gonna take care of that. We'll take it all out and put it neatly back in. Not too much going on back here. It's not real bad. Shouldn't take us too long to do this vehicle. All right, let's get it. All right, so the first thing we do is tackle the bugs. As you can see, the APC is already dissolving all that dirt, grime, and bugs that's on there in the front. You wanna leave it on for about a minute if it's in the shade. Again, if it's in the shade. If you do this on the sun, you wanna go ahead and agitate it as soon as you spray it, and then go ahead and rinse it off. Don't mess around, you will stain the finish. But here in the shade, you can go ahead and leave it on there about after about a minute. You come back and the bugs just wipe right off. And it doesn't have to be a specific APC. Use your favorite degreaser, your favorite cleaner, whatever works best for you. Alright, so I like to use a bug sponge. You gotta make sure that you clean these regularly, clean them daily, rinse them off. Uh, this one I've been using it for a while, so I'm gonna have to replace this. And with these bug sponges, now that it's been on there for about a minute, let's just go ahead and take it right off. It'd be, like I told you earlier, all this stuff just comes right off. When I first started detailing, I was so scared of the bugs in the front. How am I going to take them off? I'm going to take forever doing this. So yeah, so there's, there's no reason to be scared of the bugs. 
As long as you do it right, they come right off. I'm gonna take care of this. Some of them will be stuck on there a little harder than others. But they all come right off. So oh yeah, these bugs come right off. Don't worry about the bug sponge. It's not going to scratch the paint. You're not going to sit here and scrub it either. You're just going to go ahead and agitate it. And then they're going to come right off. So yeah, no more being scared of bugs. Just do it the right way. It's pretty easy. All right, so you want to go ahead and start prepping the vehicle. Get in all those little cracks, all the crevices. Got to get this grill nice and clean. These black grills, you'll think they're clean until you're done with the wash and you go ahead and blow dry it. And then you'll see all the bugs still on it. So you want to make sure you get every little groove in there. That way you have less work to do when you're done with the wash. Just like with any wash, prep is key. Make sure you're getting all these window seals. So the reason we do this is because dirt and grime actually gets filled up in there and you don't notice it. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna go ahead and wash this vehicle with the pressure washer you're gonna loosen up all of that dirt in the window seals and then it's gonna get loose. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna go in and leave, it's gonna look good, but then let's say, right, like right now is in the summertime, they take it out of the garage and it starts raining and then all that loose dirt that you didn't get out from the window seals is gonna start dripping out. And if you see cars that, that look like dirt running down the paint, and you wonder why, it's because they didn't go ahead and prep the window seals when they went to wash the vehicle. Always remember, when you're done doing wheels, to pressure wash all that grime off of the concrete, because if you don't, the customer's gonna be mad. So it was always good to take videos of the vehicles you're doing. It's good for social media and YouTube, yeah, but the most important reason is, you know, the vehicle's real dirty. There's a lot of defects and scratches that you won't see until you wash it. And the customer may think that they were in there before the wash. So you wanna go ahead and cover your back and, you know, go ahead and reduce that, the risk, you know, the liability there, so. Always take the inserts out to wash them separately. No matter how clean it is in there, because some cars are really bad. So we're foaming up the car, getting it ready for the wash. Making sure that foam bath really breaks down all the dirt before we go to the contact wash.
All right, we're hitting it with the deionized water. Anytime you're doing a vehicle out in the sun, water spots is a big problem. And you do not have to use deionized water. We only use it for the final rinse, but it really helps. Because if you're not careful, the glass will get stained. You get water spots on the paint. You're just creating more work for yourself. But as long as you're quick about drying it, then you don't really have to worry about the deionized water. But we use it, it makes our life a lot easier. I know the first eight months that we were in business, we did not have deionized water. And it was pretty rough, but we made it through. But yeah, now we have it, but we only use it for the final rinse. Yeah, it's too expensive to be using it for the whole wash. I would love to use it for the whole wash, but it just costs too much. The DI water is very good for the grills, especially when you have those really fancy grills that are all chromed out, or with this Mazda you have that nice chrome strip on the bottom there. Those grills get stained very easily when you're out in the sun. So when you hit it with the DI water, all you have to do is just blow dry it, and it comes out perfect every time. I can actually just let this air dry and it'll literally look like that when it dries with no water spots. So that's pretty nice. Again, it's very expensive to use it on the entire wash. So we use it only on the final rinse. Already started doing the door jams. Now I'm gonna go ahead and blast everything out with the tornado door, get all that dust off for the customer. These are the Boar's hair brushes that we use. Um, it will not scratch anything. So for this specific brush, I use it just to dust everything off. So I'll go ahead and hit it with the Tornador and the brush to go ahead and get all this dust off.
Uh, we got two vacuums going, so this will make it a lot faster. All right, so the inside's done. Vacuum came out great. This is like a carrier for her small little dog. We took it out earlier, but now we went ahead and installed it again. All the dust is gone. Everything's clean, perfect. All right, the back is perfect as well. Seat's still a little wet right there and right there. Just because we took some stains out, that'll go ahead and dry out. Yeah, everything came out perfect. There's the driver's side. All the dust is gone. So yeah, the inside's done. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the wax. All right, so we pulled it into the garage so we can be out of the sun. If the garage is available, then why not? It's over 100 degrees right now in Florida. Now the vehicle already looks great. It looks like we waxed it already, and that's just with the wash that we did. But we're gonna go ahead and put the one-year paint sealant on it with the DA, and it's gonna make that white way glossier than it is right now. Let's go. so we went ahead and waxed it right now it's just sitting there we have to let it cure for about 20 25 minutes before we take it off it's gonna look great we actually made a friend while we were here she's pretty quiet but i like her i think she has babies up there I don't know, I'm just going to leave her alone. She's not messing with anybody. Customer has a fridge full of drinks here in the garage. She said help yourself, so... Got some of this tea. Super hot outside right now. Alright, so the Mazda is done. Look at the gloss on that thing. It looks incredible. The paint is so slick and so smooth. Only if y'all could feel what I'm feeling right now. So yeah, it came out amazing. It's protected all year round now. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them down in the comment section. And I'll see you on the next one.